Hey guys, Mr. Sherwin here. Uh, I wanted to go over something. I will not be here Wednesday, and this is what I'd like you to do. Not a difficult assignment. We need some more essay slash DBQ practice. So rather than simply write a bunch of DBQs and essays, we're really going to focus on the planning part of each one. So, you know, we talk about how planning, uh, brainstorming, and coming up with a rough thesis, and thinking about what you're going to use for evidence, and having a, a solid historical context, those are ways that you can uh, maximize points even if that's all you do, even if your, your essay itself is not the greatest, if you can actually uh, do simple things like using documents, historical context, evidence, uh, uh, some things like that, then you can, can get a, a decent score, like a three or a four, uh, even with sort of a weak essay. So what I wanted you to do in the, the newest version of the Cracking the A Push book, uh, this is uh, the 2022 version. This is the one with the Model T Ford on the cover. Uh, 2022. So you're going to go to 409 in the Cracking the A Push Exam Review Book. You can write direct, directly in your book if you want to or on a separate sheet of paper. Uh, none of the stuff you're going to be writing is going to be scanned in and submitted to Canvas. We're going to have like almost like an exit interview after you go through this process. So the actual work that you'll be writing and thinking about the DBQ uh, you know, on your own is only going to be 15 minutes. So we're just doing the planning stage. Okay. So what you're going to want to do first, using your phone or computer or whatever, set a timer for 15 minutes. Then go through the book, and you're going to go through that particular DBQ prompt. Okay, go to that. Um, what you're going to want to do then, once you start your timer, is look over the prompt. If you want to highlight the prompt, you know, draw arrows from what the prompt is asking you to what, or if you want to underline specific dates, or if you just want to restate the prompt in a way that you can clearly uh, ex understand what you're being asked to do. Some people might even rewrite the prompt in sort of a thesis starter. Okay, so uh, you can do that and then you can have your A, B, and C a little later for your thesis. Okay, the second step, take about two to three minutes of that 15 and sort of brainstorm all possible events, personalities, evidence you can think of based on that prompt, based on the topic, based on the time period. Okay, you can do that in your A push book. Um, then write down specific historical context. Remember, specific historical context is 10 to 20 years before the date of the prompt that relates to the topic of the prompt. So if it's about, you know, that one we wrote earlier on World War II and relations with the Soviet Union, it needs to be related to, you know, diplomacy also needs to be like uh, prior to the start of the Cold War. So it needs to be like the 19 teens or 20s or 30s uh, and then also related to diplomacy or, or Russian uh, international relations. So again, not just something that happened 10 to 20 years before the prompt date, but also something that relates to the prompt. Okay. So then, as part of your planning stage, you want to go through the documents, you know, you can write in your book, it's your book, you want to just kind of quickly kind of skim through them, uh, no more than about maybe 45 seconds to 60 seconds per document, depending on the size of the documents, what's that document about, you know, what's, what's the general summary of that, okay, as you're going through the documents, just kind of, uh, if one pops out at you, one of the analysis or analyses ways that we do the historical context intended audience purpose or author's point of view if one of those jumps out at you then simply write historical context next to that don't go further into that and, and write the specifics if you want and if you don't want to we just want you to sort of select some documents as you go and say okay i i, I feel like i understand how i could use this a little bit later for analyzing documents okay come up with a rough thesis either complex or simple in the correct form Okay, remember that the thesis answers the question, it makes a claim, and it also gives the why because of A, B, and C. Okay, and then what you want to do uh, is is look at two pieces of evidence, like outside brainstorm. Go look at your look at your uh, your brainstorm list again and see what pieces of evidence would you decide to use for this specific prompt. So. I know I went through that quickly. It's going to take a little longer for that because you're going to want to sort of formulate a thesis. Some of you guys might even want to create an outline as far as, you know, historical context, thesis, um, you know, point A, what documents you're going to use. So I'm going to put this here as well. Uh, time permitting. Can't write. Create a rough outline. Okay. Okay. And wait for the timer to go off. I want you to really use this time wisely. Take at least 15 minutes, okay? Uh, now, on the actual test, if you actually only plan for 10 minutes, that's okay. But if you're not spending at least 10 minutes planning before you start writing your actual response, you're doing yourself a disservice, okay? So 15 minutes is all you're going to do for this part here. What you'll do after that is after you finish this process, then you go to page 435 to the explanations. 
So kind of, you know, put a dog ear on your book to where you, you know, made marks and you, you brainstormed and you created a rough thesis and any kind of outline. Just keep that sort of dog, dog eared and then you're going to go to, to 435. And you're going to look at sort of what you did in the planning process that would have been helpful if you actually went on and wrote the actual essay. There's a lot here, but things in this uh, section to read, uh, it mentions the documents. It tells you what the, the document is, who wrote it, why they wrote it, things like that. So it's important that you sort of look at the documents and say, you know, did I understand what this document was about? Okay. Specific events, specific people. Okay. This is where you'll find the evidence that may not be included in the documents, maybe, but we're looking for things that you would use later to uh, support the body paragraphs and your claim. Okay. What should you have discussed? Okay, this is the documents are 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 there to lead you to certain conclusions, whether you thought one way about the prompt or the other way. If you have a main argument, counter argument, where would you where should you have taken your paper as far as answering the prompt the way it is? Okay. So this part here, this is the part where you're just kind of checking up on things to include or have included in your response. You know, sort of how much on the right track were you? That's really what we're trying to do here, okay? And the, the thing that I need is in Canvas, and I'm going to put this on Canvas for you to look at. I just want sort of like a, a call it an exit interview if you want to, call it a post-planning evaluation. What I want you to do is just write down in, in a paragraph, it's going to be a sizable paragraph, not an essay, but you're, you're going to walk through it, like have an internal monologue about how you did uh, on the planning part, okay? So, for example, you know, if I ask you, if you and I were sitting down at my desk and said, hey, how did you do on the 15-minute planning period? Uh, how did it go with the DVQ? What did you do well? What did you not do so well? Uh, were you able to set up some good historical context? Did you find some outside evidence to use? Uh, what was your working thesis? Did there any, were there any documents that you liked that you felt like you would use uh, for sure to prove your thesis? Did you see some documents you'd have a hard time understanding or using that in, a, uh, in an argument? What did you notice about your plan after the 15 minutes when you were through with the explanations later in the book? So really, it's almost like you're given a pretest, much like the multiple choice and the short answer, and the DBQ and the LEQ have explanations at the end that if you had written an essay or a DBQ, how would, how would you have fared? Were you on the right track as far as planning and having the right evidence, understanding what the prompt was asking, understanding what the documents were, and sort of where you were supposed to go with those documents, okay? So again, these are the types to say in, an, in, in your canvas. We're going to call it the inner monologue, okay? I'd like to read these. Be specific. Uh, you should have a sizable paragraph, okay? If you're if you're submitting something that's three sentences, that is not enough, okay? And then be specific. So if you're like, I didn't understand document A very well. Well, what did you think it was and what is it really, okay? Or uh, I didn't spend enough time brainstorming, whatever it was. Be specific about things, historical context, thesis, evidence use, and documents, okay? So all in all, this whole, work, this whole uh, assignment 15 minutes is all you're actually using for the prompt, and then you're stopping yourself, and then you're going to the back of the book and saying, okay, am I on the right track? So this whole thing should take probably, if you do it correctly, at least at least 30 minutes, probably a little bit more than that, and this is going to be your assignment on Wednesday. So I need that inner monologue to Canvas uh, uh, before you come to class on Thursday. Okay. So after the 15 minutes, uh, and I'll leave this, these instructions for the sub, after the 15 minutes, you are welcome to, after looking at the, uh, at the explanations, talk to a neighbor, talk to a peer, look at things you guys may have missed together or you did uh, correctly or, you know, kind of help each other out. I, I, I have a thing I have to go take care of, so I, I won't be able to help you on this day, but I will read the uh, monologues and kind of give you feedback if, if necessary and, and things like that. So thank you guys. That's the assignment.